What is up, Epic Travelers? Matt here again. Tonight we're at SeaWorld doing a Matt and Cat try that, except it's just Matt tonight. Cat's still at home. She's recovering from her gallbladder surgery, and the doctor said no rides for you. And tonight is all about the rides. Tonight we're doing a VIP ride night here at SeaWorld. It's one night only. They're supposed to have all their coasters open, and the thing I want to do most is the Pipeline Coaster. It just opened a couple weeks ago, and I haven't tried it yet, so let's get out there and see how many rides we can get in tonight. Alright guys, first ride of the night down. I did Mako. Uh, it was a little bit of a line over there at Pipeline, so I decided to come to the back of the park. They're trying to kind of clear out the park. The wait time is at five minutes. Complete walk-on. It's been a while since I've done Mako, and man, that ride is fun. Before Velocicoaster came around over at Islands of Adventure, Mako was my favorite coaster in Orlando, and it's definitely top three still. That thing has so much airtime. It was a blast, so let's go see what else we can ride. All right guys, ride number two down of the night. This time I was on Kraken. It said five minutes for the wait, but I basically just walked on. I honestly waited one train, and that was only because I wanted to wait for the back. Could have waited for the front, probably would have waited three or four trains, but man, that's a fun ride. It's a little bumpy, kind of rough, kind of reminds me of Hulk a little bit, um, but for you know no weights and getting out here at night, uh, the train might have been 30% full, so really not a lot of people here right now. We'll see if it gets busier, but let's go find another coaster to ride. Hey guys, just got off of ride number three, Manta. Manta is not my favorite ride here, I don't think. I don't think I've ever really liked it that much, and laying on your stomach, just something about it is kind of weird to me. The ride, fairly smooth. There's some close encounters, some close calls. You feel like you're gonna hit the water, hit some trees. It's interesting, it's just not my favorite ride. It was listed at 25 minutes. It was basically a walk-on, except the train in front of me took probably 10 minutes to get out of the station. So overall, maybe like a 10 or 15 minute wait, not too bad. Gonna try to see if we can hit up some more rides now. We're gonna go see what the wait is for Pipeline because I'm excited about that one. Let's go. Hey guys, just finished Icebreaker, this one right behind me here. That was ride number four. It was listed at about a 30 minute wait. I waited only a little over 20 minutes or so, so it was pretty accurate. Mine moved pretty quick. It's my first time on the ride. Um, not my favorite per se. Um, it was pretty good though. Getting on is really awkward. It's really tight. Um, I mean, I'm tall, but I'm not that tall. And uh, man, it was really tight just kind of maneuvering your way in. Um, the queue system was kind of weird too, but overall it was a fun ride. Uh, a little short, uh, but nice and smooth, and definitely something you should check out if you get here to SeaWorld. So let's go see what's going on at Pipeline. We got one more ride to go. Let's go get on it.
guys, just got off of Pipeline. That was my first time on the ride. That is unique. I was trying to think of how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I've only been on one other standing coaster and that was a long time ago. If you guys know what it's called, please let me know in the comments. But it was a stand-up coaster that was at uh, Kings Island back in the day, probably 30 years ago now, I don't know. But I do know I've been on a standing coaster before and this was nothing like that. The seats kind of actuate and you kind of go up and down. You, your instincts say you want to stand up, but you don't have to, you can sit down on it. Um, but when you go over some of these little hills and get some airtime, your feet come off the ground. If you're standing, you will be in the air and then they'll kind of bring you back down to earth. But it's a cool ride, it's very smooth, it's very new, it's very unique. Um, it's definitely worth the wait. Um, I waited probably about 40 minutes tonight for it, um, and I thought it was worth it. It was really cool, it was a great time, but that about wraps it up here. It's about 10 o'clock. Uh, we got here about 7 o'clock. I only got five rides in, so not the best use of my time ever, but I did walk onto some early on, and um, it was a cool event. It was pretty cool to get out here at night, get on some rides, get some things I've never done before. So that wraps it up from here. We're gonna head out and get home now. Hey guys, so I'm back from SeaWorld now, back home. It's kind of late, it's almost 11 o'clock now. I uh, just wanted to recap everything. So I did the VIP ride night at SeaWorld tonight. Ended up doing five rides. Um, I got all the major coasters in, which was fun. It took about three hours to do it all. Uh, it was my first time on Icebreaker and my first time on Pipeline. Um, got to ride some rides I hadn't ridden in a while. It was pretty cool. Um, overall, my rankings, I guess I would kind of say, and my thoughts on the night, uh, it was a good experience. Um, they said a lot of food places were going to be open, and there really weren't many places for food or drinks that I noticed. There was a couple bars, um, but not overall, there really wasn't a lot of options for that. Um, it wasn't super busy. Obviously, the, the new rides were more popular and more busy, so Icebreaker had a pretty consistent line, and Pipeline by far had the longest line of the night, and it stayed pretty busy the whole night from what I could tell. Um, Mako is still probably my favorite coaster, definitely a SeaWorld um, and definitely one of my top three I would say here in Orlando, um, so that would be my number one. Pipeline was unique, um, not really thrilling but still in its own way kind of thrilling, the way that you kind of stand up and it will throw you off the ground a little bit, so that was my number two. Um, Icebreaker I think would be my number three, a little short, um, definitely again, kind of a unique experience with the spike. Um, I'd say Kraken is my number four. Um, it's a little, it's a little older, I guess, and it kind of shows its age. Again, it has that Hulk feel to it, where it just feels like it's kind of vibrating you a little bit, kind of rough. Um, and then Manta, again, nothing wrong with the ride. It's just not my favorite. It's not my cup of tea. Um, I don't really like the position, and it's just, I don't know, it's just a weird experience to me. So it's not something that I really enjoy all that much. And. I don't tend to do very often, but tonight was all about the rides, and I'm glad I went out there and did that. So thanks to SeaWorld for putting that on. It was cool to have something that you know shows that they appreciate their pass holders. Um, you know, it was a fun thing to do, kind of on a random Thursday night. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, stay epic.